another video. This is Life with OG, and we got a reaction video for the alleged dude that murked Pop Smoke uh, about three, four years ago in LA. Uh, it's a young dude. At the time, he was a minor. Uh, I, got, I believe he goes by the name of Blockstar. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. We won't get to it. And uh, he got a few things to, to say about the situation. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm I can't go to the next that. violation. Like, it's not in the contract. So I'm like, fuck. Like, and I got to show up there with a public defender. Like, so I'm just thinking, thinking. I'm waiting all day, waiting. I get that call from PO. I get a text from my PO. She, like, call me. So I'm calling her, and we talking. She like, what happened? What's going on? I tell her, like, I don't know. Like, I'm all over social media for, you know, my situation. And she like, like, well, like, I fear for your safety. Like, let me take you back to jail, basically. Like, what? Like, you going to go back to jail? So they call you right now, say, let me take you to jail. You going back to jail for for your safety? And you feel like and you feel like you're, you're safe. If you feel like you're safe, and they're talking about, I'm not talking, man, nah. nah. I'm not going for it. Because I mean, you keep me in jail however long you feel like it, until you feel like it's safe. Yeah. No, I'm not. Let's so, go somewhere with that. So how did the picture go viral of people finding out you were out of jail? It was just on you on your birthday and you decided to make a post? I mean, there have been situations where they would repost the picture and it would go viral, but it won't catch too much attention. Like if y'all go and look at this interview, 
I believe it's in the beginning of the interview, somewhere along the five minute mark, where he actually says, um, when they committed this robbery, because he said it was a robbery, it wasn't a home invasion, he really didn't anticipate anyone being there, but it was a house party. I'm guessing they was thinking, hey, they probably not going to be there. This is a good time to run up in there, steal the goods and bounce. But people actually was there and things transpired and went wrong and went, you know, and went left. But my thing is, he need to get up off from drugs. That's the first thing. He, he need a clear mind. But I kind of understand why he's still smoking. I hope he ain't still taking purposes like he said he was when he committed that crime. But you really need to get off from drugs. But at the same time, I understand he's trying to have a wor worry-free, clear, uh, uh, careless state of mind. So that's why even on this interview, he's high out of his mind. He's, he's slurring his words. He's not speaking clearly. Um, the message he's trying to put out is very unclear. So at the same time, first off, he need, he need to get off from drugs. And the best way to do that is um, he need to go to rehab or he need to go sit down, do some more time. He only did four years. And he's not remorseful. So a lot of people going to take that as disrespectful. First off, you got you got released from jail after four years. He committed this crime, I believe he was like 16 years old, him and his other co-defendants. So he probably got that kind of like that juvenile life thing. I don't know how it go exactly, but, but because he committed a crime while he was a juvenile, they gave him a slap on the wrist. But he don't realize the severity of him being home back on these streets doing these interviews, how dangerous it can get for him. He might not care right now because he's living a carefree life and he's high out of his mind. But uh, let this be a lesson to all you kids out there that's watching this video. Stay in school. Don't listen to none of the crap that these rappers talking about because some of them be lying they ass off. They just saying a lot of this stuff because they think it sound cool on the record. But this dude feel bad. He rem he might not show that he remorseful, but he feel, you can tell he bad, he feel bad. And it's eating him, it's eating him up in, on, on the inside. So let this be a warning to all you kids that's this close to going down the wrong path and chasing some bloodbath or ending up in a jail cell. Think twice before you make the wrong decision. I don't care if you walk in that store and your stomach grumbling, don't steal that candy bar. I don't care if your best friend like, hey, come take this ride with me. We, it'll be real quick. Don't do it. That might be that ride that you'll regret. Trust me. My ninth grade year, I, I, I believe I went in two situations in my ninth grade year. I, it could have went, it could have went bad for me. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of y'all gotta really use good judgment. If y'all hear that, if y'all if y'all hear that voice in your head saying, "Nah, I don't think I should, I don't think you should ride with him. I think you should leave that alone." Fall back, stay home, play some PlayStation, play some 2K, some Call of Duty, and fall back. Or go read a book. Go read a book. Educate yourself. Um, do something else with your with your free time. Because that free time can turn into jail time or hard time. And you don't want to throw your life away for a decision that will come like this. It will come in a split second, and that'll be it. So don't follow these rappers, these drill rappers, these people out here committing these acts of violence and, and, and telling you on interview that they don't feel nothing, they don't feel no remorse. Oh, uh, people die every day. That's that people do die every day from natural causes and and stuff like that. Some people do die from gun violence, but you don't gotta participate. 
So let that be a lesson to y'all. I hope y'all do watch this interview to see how dumb this dude look. Because he's he young. He made a terrible mistake. Whether he was the trigger man or he was the dude just riding along. Let this be a lesson to y'all. Don't go down the wrong path, man. This is OG. I'm out. This is all I had to say, man. Make y'all decisions wisely, man, because it might cost you. It might cost you your life or your freedom. I'm out. This is OG.